which sectors and which businesses and which startups uh, are you most focused on? Venture business is quite you know, promising in China and it's grow quite faster, even faster than the US, I think. Recently, we found that the, there are many companies that started saying that uh, we, do we want global market in the first day. For example, the, um, we invested in mobile at the very early stage. At that time, the founders told us that we want to put the bike all over the world. So our strategy is that we want to power those young guys who really have the uh, dream or the ambition to, to be, you know, to change the world, to really make a difference. The Mobike investment that you made, yeah, de- that's raised your profile, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. How pleased were you with your investment in Mobike and the way it turned out? Would you have preferred that the company spend a bit more time growing uh, prior to it being acquired? We actually ex- expected a IPO for this company. But in the end, you know, the decision is on the company. So we, uh, we have our opinion on this company, but in the end, we respect the, the decision of the you know, shareholders, of, of the funders. And what, what return did you make from your mobile investment? Uh, oh, it's over 10 times, so in less than two years. So we're happy on this and our LPs are happy. Mm. How competitive is the VC market in China? Uh, it's very, very competitive. It has uh, 10,000 VCs in China, registered VCs in China. And, and there are a lot of individuals who has money and they call themselves angel investor. Top 5% of the firm, you know, they earn 95% of the money. So the rest of the f- firms, they only get 5% of the money. So it's really competitive industry. It's not like real estate. You know, top 100 guys live nice. It's no you know, rules we can follow, no routines. So we need to be very innovative. We need to try to stay in, in the 5%. A big question on many people's lips is who is going to be the next Baidu or Alibaba or Tencent or potentially Xiaomi at some point when that lists. Who do you think has the potential? Which startups in China are likely to make it big? Right now, I think uh, Total probably has the you know, best chance. But I think if you ask me this question, eventually what kind of company can beat the BAT? I think maybe on the uh, you know, social app, they can get large user base quite fast. The fast enough that then, then it's no way to copy, right? Tencent and Alibaba, by far the biggest investors, in the startup space in China when it comes to technology in particular. Yeah. Yeah. How are they shaping the landscape? I think they feel really anxious, anxious about the startups. They really worry about you know, some innovative companies appears and, and someday beat them. So that's why they make a lot of investments to make sure that something don't happen. When you worry about that, then something, you know, gonna gonna happen someday, very soon.